Durant thus mean heartbreaking to talk to those Florida residents that have decided to hunker down through this dangerous weather. People are going to lose lives tonight. I spoke to two Susquehanna Valley natives who moved down to Florida to escape the winter. But now they're facing their second hurricane in less than two weeks. Our house, it, it is a new build, so we have like the hurricane shutters. Um, so we put all of those up, like the metal hurricane shutters. We have the bathtubs full of water. We have every water bottle in the house that I've collected for so many years and thought I should get rid of. Now I'm glad I kept them <laughs> because they're all full of water and out on the counter. Beth says getting ready for the storm was easy, but preparing for it emotionally has been a challenge. There are emotions that started a week ago, so we're at the peak of all of our emotions. We're exhausted because it's been preparation. You can't find supplies and there's people that are stubborn. The outer bands of Milton have already started to impact the state. Right now we have flooding, just regular streets with um, ponding. The winds are scary. The failing family lives below Tampa, where the eye of the storm is expected to hit. We decided to stay off the roads and not go um, evacuate because you really needed to leave space for all of the zone A, B and C people. The roads were terrible. Despite the warnings and expected devastation, both families are hoping for the best. We have a rough night ahead of us. This storm is likely to be one of the worst storms to hit the state of Florida. Back to you.